Don't like your old dumb light switch? Well, nor do I. Okay then, let's make it remote controlled with Lego? But how exactly do you stick Lego to a light switch? Tape? Screws? Maybe just build up from the ground? We're gonna use screws, but not like the sheetrock screws you saw earlier. Alright, look, if you're gonna repeat this, just take the screws out and just leave the plate on, okay? With that out of the way, you can see that the screws that were holding the plate on are not long enough to hold the brick on. Do not fear, though. Longer ones exist. Your light switch plate might have already had longer ones in it, but mine didn't. This screw size is known as 632. That's 6-32. These can be found at literally any hardware store, but I happen to have a couple in my spare hardware. Now that we got something that works, let's start slapping on some Lego stuff. Alright, there's the finished attachment. Now let's put a motor on it. Okay, now let's stick on an EV3 with an IR sensor attached. And after about 30 minutes of programming... There's also a manual mode if you don't want to remote control it. Now, let's take a look at how this thing works. That little thing it just did right there was force the light switch into the off position by default. If it didn't do that, it would try to turn the light switch on and off at whatever position the motor was currently at, and it just wouldn't work. It's basically a calibration step that turns the motor until it encounters resistance and then stops when it does. What about you fancy people with these decora style light switches? Well, too bad so sad because I didn't make one for those, but the same concept can be applied to make one for a decora style light switch. Anyway, I do have a link in the description to a full tutorial video if you'd like to build this for yourself, only if you have toggle switches, which most people do. Okay, so with that being said, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.